Tesla announced in a blog post today that for all Model 3s and Model Ys delivered in the month of May 2021 moving forward, those vehicles will no longer be equipping radar into the front. And they've made this pretty obvious on their website now, saying that Tesla Vision is going to be the future using the eight cameras and the ultrasonic sensors, which are still there. That's how they're going to keep around their active safety systems and keep you on the road and still have features like Smart Summon and Autopilot. So every Everything that the full self-driving package is still promising is equipped. I just must admit it's kind of shocking to see Tesla this early deciding that the radar should not be there. Now, I completely understand that with their development of the full self-driving beta and us seeing so much monumental improvement with roundabouts and city streets and even on freeways and stuff, Tesla believes that the radar sensor is causing that phantom braking, especially when cameras and radar sensors disagree with each other. Who do you believe? And cameras ultimately can give you a much higher bandwidth signal and image processing and all that, but while radar may seem redundant for achieving full self-driving, I have to imagine that you kind of want some redundancy in your safety systems. There have already been a few instances where Teslas have crashed into different vehicles or run into an accident because people were not paying attention, and it's not Tesla's fault because technically, even with autopilot on, the driver is still liable. You're still supposed to keep your hands on the wheel and keep your eyes on your surroundings, but wouldn't most drivers want to make sure that there's as many sensors as possible to analyze your surroundings just in case there is something up with the cameras and I've seen countless situations where just the sun hits those cameras in the right way and because of that sunlight hitting those cameras that prevents autopilot from being able to work properly because the visuals around the car are just not good enough or it's raining too hard and radar does have its own set of disadvantages to be sure it's not a very detailed image and radar at least on previous generation tests was really only forward facing to a great distance and Tesla clearly now thinks that the cameras themselves are good enough at seeing their environments and I actually hope that now that they're directly removing radar from the production line that maybe these cameras could be beefed up a little bit to see in those darker environments or see through fog which many instances the basic cameras Tesla includes in their vehicles are not able to see that far however there are infrared cameras in existence that can see better than a human can in low visibility situations those are the types of scenarios where having radar equipped is pretty helpful because the cameras can't see that well. I'm hoping that the radar removal did come with some improvements to the cameras themselves and until someone does some teardowns or some more deep dives into the most recently delivered Model 3s and Ys, we're not exactly going to know if they've updated the camera system in any way or if they literally just kept in the same FSD chip, the same cameras, except now there's no more radar. I just really, really hope that Teslas can still be as safe as possible and I'm not sure how the press is going to respond to finding out that Tesla is taking away some of those redundancy systems and surface level I understand like yeah the camera should be able to see what's in front of you pretty well and that's fine I'm just talking about the scenarios in which the camera may be limited or visibility may be limited for any regard having a redundancy with your active safety system I think is overall a good thing and I'm just somewhat worried that removing some of that redundancy may result in the camera when there isn't good visibility or the sunlight isn't hitting them the right way or the fog is too dense aren't going to be able to make the vehicle as safe as they were before. I hope Tesla's not getting a bit too preoccupied with their FSD development because I'm sure that when you're writing this, you know, autopilot 4D code that's able to stitch all of your surroundings together, removing radar probably frees up some headroom within the full self-driving computer chip and they're able to have less phantom braking and more reliable feedback on a sunny day with good weather, high visibility, yeah, no radar anymore, FSD cameras are doing great on version 9, but in those safety circumstances, is removing radar a bit too premature? I'm kind of on the side of it might be, but of course Tesla knows a lot more about this than I do, so hopefully they're still able to prioritize safety and these vehicles will not be any less safe. And I would definitely agree that it's the right move to simplify manufacturing and save cost where you can, but it's kind of hard to fall on that side of the argument when Tesla vehicles this year have just progressively gotten more and more expensive. Now the Model 3 starting at $40,000 and the Model Y starting at $52,000. There's been five price increases since the beginning of this year. So if removing radar was directly allowing Tesla to reduce the price of the vehicle, I think I'd be more excited for it, but they aren't. So hopefully in the long run, this does allow Tesla to save cost on their vehicle production and ultimately can make them cheaper than ever before because right now they've been 
been cheaper in years prior. Hate to be the deliverer of bad news, but I'm curious if there's some of you out there that are fine with Tesla removing radar. If you think it's a good decision or a bad one, feel free to let me know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.